everyone we just finished our work for this morning and we are headed out for day one Acadia National Park adventure we're not really quite sure what's all in store for us so and we have a loose plan per usual because we just kind of want to see what happens so we're gonna take you along for this ride I think it's gonna be some pretty epic views parking spot right at Sand Beach we're gonna go to a little bit later today and I'm pretty stoked to see Thunder Hole today so we have Thunder Hole yeah. great head trail Otter Cliffs hopefully we'll make that one too uh, we're just gonna see how much we can get in it today and everything else we'll just do the next day we're gonna do is the Great Head Trail. It goes out onto a point and it's supposed to have some really beautiful views. Just kind of get our bodies warmed up for some other hikes later this afternoon. Look babe. What you got? All the little cones are just starting to come out. Yeah. Look at yeah. it. It's a lot of sections here. You're just kind of scrambling on these boulders. Just gotta watch your step here, but yeah, it's wow, look at this view. Wow. When you're on the rock portion of these trails, you'll notice there's these blue markers on here, so you'll know which way to go. Definitely bring layers of clothing because it gets hot, cold, hot, cold, windy, not windy. This little guy is great. It's a DJI Osmo Pocket. It's great for hiking because uh, it's super small. It fits in your pocket. It takes great photos, videos, slow motion, motion lapse, hyperlapse. It is dope. And we are not sponsored by DJI or anything. We're open to it. So about a third of the way through this hike, you come out to a super gorgeous view of the water. It's just really gorgeous. I think it is time for some lunch. What do you think, B? I am starving. <laughs> Whoa, what are we eating here? So for lunch I made a grain-free chickpea pasta. I mixed it with about equal parts of uh, steamed broccoli because I love broccoli and then I made like a raw vegan a creamy tomato sauce with cashews, red pepper, fresh tomato, basil, garlic, and spring onion. And put pine nuts on top and some basil and it's pretty bomb. Delicious lunch. That's a good lunch, eh? Yeah, it was delicious. <laughs> Not a bad scenery either, you know? And now we were on to our next two stops. First one is Thunder Hole. It's pretty windy. I hope yeah. you all can hear me, okay? The reason they call it Thunder Hole is because if you get here a particularly stormy day or two hours before high tide, all these waves come crashing into this 
these rocks or this cove and it sounds like thunder. So if you want to see that, you have to time it two hours to high tide. The ocean path runs right next to the drive here and is less than optimal. If it wasn't crowded, you weren't coming during a crowded time, I might just park Sand Beach, do the whole thing, then drive down here and repark where there's more parking because we're just literally walking on the side of the road. Slender Hole. It's not that stormy out, so it's not really getting a lot of action or sounds. But we got a little bit maybe, but definitely a beautiful spot though. Definitely come check it out. So after Thunder Hole, you're on the path next to the highway a little bit. Or not highway, but the parkway, whatever it's called. And then you kind of go off into the woods and you're basically on the side of these cliffs. Hey, B. Hey. The view here is pretty cool because you're right on the side of the cliff, but we're going to continue on. Yeah. We also heard about something called like Cave Monument or something. Mm -hmm. See if we can find Let's it. See if we can find it. Yeah. These views are epic! <laughs> Right past where you think Otter Cliff is, where there's kind of like this roundabout. Keep going on that path and you'll come to a little shore. And it's beautiful here. There's not a lot of people, but it seems like the perfect place to watch sunset. The lighting is beautiful. The waves are crashing. There's, and the, there's no crowds. So it's just like a gorgeous little place for sunset. Hey, good morning. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. We're going to Cadillac Mountain. Sunrise is actually at 4.57 a.m. It's the first place you see the sunrise in the continental United States. So um, we're going to try to get there, get a parking spot, and see if we can catch a glimpse of it. We'll see you over there. Morning everyone, we just got to the top of Cadillac Mountain for sunrise. So we're gonna climb in bed and just watch it from the van, which is so cool. So we don't actually have to be outside freezing. It's a beautiful day. This is a pretty major attraction over here. Everybody's here. We got here just in time. This parking lot is full. There's people everywhere. What a beautiful view. great little spot for for our tea yeah Calic Mountain is a must see coming to the Bar Harbor area or Acadia oh yeah and this is just like chill yeah I remember for sunrise it's best to get here two hours before sunrise sunrise like really start popping off early we gotta go to the next stop cool 
Let's do it. What are you making? I'm making us a good old breakfast scramble. And I really do, I think, make the best breakfast scramble in the US, like legit. Heading up the Bubbles Rock Trail. The trail is marked by these blue indicators. What are your thoughts on the hike so far? It's beautiful. Yeah. It's a good workout. I don't think... I mean, I think some kids could do it. Yeah. Dogs, definitely not. Yeah. at ye old campsite here. We're staying at the Bass Harbor campground still. Brian is lighting a fire out there. And, oh, I wanted to mention that we really like this campground. Like we've really loved it here. The people are super awesome. The showers are actually hot. So we haven't been actually showering the van. Their showers are awesome here and it's actually really moderately priced. I think it's $38 a night with a hookup. Um, super chill place. And it's like right next to the Bass Harbor Lighthouse on the quiet side of the island. I really love it. So if you're like, oh, where are we gonna stay? Uh, obviously, if you wanna stay closer to like Bar Harbor and things like that, but it's been super chill out here, and which is nice at night. So we're just gonna make this raging fire and chill. We're just gonna sit here and enjoy this fire. Yeah. Yeah. I trust that this video is helpful for all of you visiting Acadia National Park, or at least amusing to some extent. Anyways, if you like this video, please do give us a like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you feel so inclined. All of those things help keep our channel alive so that we can continue making videos for all of you, and they're a big help, and we appreciate it so much. And also, we just love chatting with you and hearing from all of you. So Ooh. we'll catch you all next week. Lots of love. We love Maine. Woo!